double. We both got limited by Ionetto gang on commentary. Yeah, Snake is bullshit. I mean, is crap. BS. <laughs> esports. Esports. Speaking of going into esports, we have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on the screen right now between Frost and HML's very own Zillion. The best member, well, not really, because there's Grayson and King K, but I think Zillion is Grayson, top three. King K and the, this is really sick. But uh, outside of that, uh, Frost has actually been pretty, pretty on the come up here. Frost is. Frost has literally been on the upcoming this past month alone. He has made a lot of results. And it's, oh yeah, I forgot uh, about Dancy. Yep, of course. Yep. So, it's been a while since I've seen Zillion Frost play. I don't, I don't know the exact uh, set count. I wouldn't be able to tell you either. Yeah. But so far Zillion's doing well of keeping him away. Uh, doing his little game plans and getting his damage. And, oh, nice conversion on the uh, neutral air, getting both hits from Frost on there. Man, Zillion's so good at that, uh, catching you when you're on the platform with the with the Nosferatu. And right now, Zillion's just uh, really holding the uh, first stock very well as Frost is literally playing, I would say a little over aggressive, but well, that over aggressiveness kind of worked right there, taking yeah. that first stock away. Yeah, it can kind of be detrimental in this matchup, or the way Zillion plays it anyway, because Zillion's putting down all of his traps, and you know, next thing you know, you're going to be running into a thunder or something like that. Can't be good. Absolutely not. And Robin is definitely one of those characters where if you goof up and you don't know what you're doing versus Robin, well, he will probably take your stop pretty yeah, quickly. Yeah, you'll, you'll think uh, Robin stopped here if you don't know what it is. Speaking of, that suck is G-O-N-E. That second one is just out of here. And Zillion's uh, looking really nice. He's already left him at percent. Yeah. I mean, Inkling could definitely make it up really quickly, but it's going to be up to Frost to secure the kills. He's been having to have to actually press his advantage really hard to get it. So yeah, and a lot of the times what we're seeing is when Frost tries to put the advantage, Zillion just answers like, guys, like, stay back. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it. Yeah, he's been doing really well in uh, not getting uh, pressed too far. Wow. Oh, it's a snipe by the buck. See, there you go, Cotton. I kind of knew Frost was going to get a panic jump right there and just get him with the back air, clean it up. What a sequence of conversions by Zillion just to put all the fear into Frost and he's just going to take that game with two stocks. Yeah, Frost got a little antsy there at the end. I think if he would have played the patient game and kind of just got the damage over time, he could uh, even it out. Absolutely. If he wouldn't have just panic jump on the ledge, he would most likely maybe would have rolled in and survived. But it's definitely one of those scrappy situations at the end where uh, Zillion can capitalize and just get an easy bear to kill. Incoming best jab in the game, 19%, and well, now you have a damage multiplier on you with the ink. Yeah, pretty good, but uh, Zillion's quick to come back with his little couple chain moves. And Inkling is, like you mentioned before, Inkling is a good comeback character, so we can see a lot of stuff coming through. Cool. All right, Frost went for the edge guard. I like the attempt. Oh, oh, just a little bit too, not close enough to get that up smash. Yeah, didn't get the scoop. And right now, this is actually pretty even right now. If Frost can take this sock first, he has a pretty good position. Yeah, Frost is definitely gonna have to keep going out off stage to get these kills. Because Robin doesn't have the best recovery. And now he doesn't have the book. He's yeah. dead. That's where he's going to get most of his stocks from. Uh, I, don't, I think Zillion's too smart to be falling for that um, roller stuff. Oh, they're coming out. Just the getaway option. More bombs onto the stage. Swap bombs. Zillion's been doing a really good job ignoring all these swap bombs. And Ooh. oh, the spot dodge. Say no to that. And he's dead. Zillion making a quick getaway with the up B. Definitely got a huge buff in this game compared to Smash 4, because that up B was, ooh, in that last one. Fish wire coming through. There you go. And, wow, that was really good mashing by Zillion there to get out of that situation. 
Yeah. But now Zilli has to play the uh, keep him away game himself with all that ink on him. See, there goes Frost getting antsy at the ledge. Really wants to get off it, but... I mean, it could cost him his life. Oh, what a tech. And just for that tech, the game says, oh, you lost your book. Well, you're back on the stage, so here it is. You get it right back. And 154%, that's nothing to see that. Up B taking Zilly below the ledge, but uh, that'll be from Robin. It's no slouch and uh, getting back up. Ross is still getting a little bit antsy. Really pushing forward, forward, forward. Kind of worried that he might get clipped by something and just immediately die at like 80. I had I had a little worry there for a second. He almost got clipped by that Arc Thunder. Well, no, that was a... Uh, what is the final one called? I know the second one is Arc Thunder. I just don't know the other one. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know all my versions of uh, of Robin's neutral B. But right now, really? Thoron, get him out of here, and now we're pretty much back to even. Yeah. Thoron, thank you. Yeah, I don't. I don't care for zoners. So I don't know their moves. <laughs> but um. Oh, all right. I have a. Oh, he oh, might be. Oh wow! Yeah, with really with bad DI, he probably was going to be dead right there. That was just good. That was just a good ledge trapping all together by Zillion just to keep Frost right at the ledge. Good splat bomb to uh, ignore all the uh, L Thunder right there. Dang, that the arc fire is catching him so easily. Oh, don't that worry, Chief. I didn't like, notice. <laughs> I did, I just couldn't say anything. But speaking of not saying anything, so is Frost no longer as... That's a set. You know the Zillion. Yeah, Zillion played that matchup really well. Uh, Frost dropped a lot of stuff off stage. Um, yeah, I mean, he played it really smart. Um, Zillion did anyway, not uh, Frost. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that um, really... Frost played the matchup well in terms of like going off stage and just keeping, well, just keeping Zillia off. But we both noticed that the one thing that he really kind of needs to work on is when he has the lead, he is trying so hard to fish for that kill that Zillia just eventually makes up all of that damage. Like, I'm back. And he ended up like catching them on, on the ledge and stuff like that. Absolutely. And. It looks like that's where we're gonna see favorite the Austin Robin, one of them, K KDCB and the other, versus I believe Grace.